This is Walker Camp Prong, a lovely creek in the Smokies that runs right beside Newfound Gap Road. The National Park's fisheries crew comes here once a year to sample and monitor the stream's population of native brook trout. If you're wondering where their fishing poles are, well, they've got a more sophisticated approach. Electro-shocking. No, we're not staging a low-budget remake of Ghostbusters. This is what they really wear. These backpacks have battery packs that, when they're plugged in, generate an electrocurrent that shocks the fish when the metal probe is put in the water. The electrocurrent doesn't hurt the fish or other aquatic life, but it stuns them momentarily, so they float to the surface of the stream, where one of the fisheries crew scoops them up with a net. The crew works in teams of three, a shocker who wears the backpack and rubber gloves to prevent accidentally shocking himself, a netter who scoops up the fish, and a bucket holder who collects the fish. In my opinion, holding the bucket is the toughest job because after a while that bucket of water starts getting pretty heavy, and then there's the fear that you'll slip and release all the fish back into the stream before they've been weighed and measured. The crew identifies, weighs, and measures every fish they catch, but they're mostly interested in establishing that there's a healthy population of brook trout, which are the only trout species that's native to these cold mountain streams. The brookies are identified by their dark coloring, bright orange-red fins, and the light-colored spots along their sides. In fact, the mountain folk used to call them speckled trout because of their distinctive coloring. Once all the measurements have been taken, the fish are put into a mesh fish keeper in the river to keep them out of the way while the crew makes two more passes along the stream, making sure they do their best to catch every fish that's hiding under every rock in that section of stream. Walking around on slippery rocks trying to catch fish is pretty hard work, and if you lose concentration for even a second, you never know what might happen. That was a pretty good save, but it's a safe bet that the fisheries guys get soaked every once in a while. And once they're finished with the section of stream, they let the fish go, pack up, and head off to the next river.